$3,000 and $4,500 in cash money as it pertains to SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps or sometimes referred to as EBT for the low income and why these dollar amounts are so incredibly important for the roughly 43 million beneficiaries that receive these monthly benefits. I have all the details for you here in this video. Let's get into it and talk about it. First off, if you have not done so yet, will you please make sure to subscribe to the channel again with the big subscribe button down below. Thank you. I really, really appreciate you. And let me talk through the details about these because this $3,000 figure and the $4,500 monthly figure has now shown up. And um, I want to bring this to your attention because these are new changes as of the 2025 fiscal year, which starts October 1st, which is honestly not that far away. And it pertains to the roughly 43 million beneficiaries. Again, they receive these monthly benefits from the SNAP benefit program, which by the way, I want to throw this out there really fast. Everything I'm talking about here in this video pertains to SNAP benefits, supplemental nutrition assistance program, food stamps, EBT, food assistance, whatever we want to call it. They're all referring to the exact same thing, which is the SNAP benefit program, right? So again, I know we all call them different things, but it's all focused on this. And again, I wanted to clarify that really quickly because I do talk a lot about, uh, about other benefits here on the program or on the channel here, like uh, Social Security, SSDI, Survivors, Spousal, SSI, VA, things like that. So again, I don't want to confuse any of these dollar amounts with those benefits, but rather just SNAP benefits. Make sense? All right. So anyway, so recently we got some new information that came out, including the COLA, the new household maximum allowances for different household sizes, which you've heard me talk about before in other videos. But there's also another very key figure that we want to pay attention to that changes every so often as well. It is the asset limitations for SNAP beneficiaries. Now, again, this is a very important one because if you were to exceed these limits, your benefits would likely be ended, okay? Or at least garnished for a short time, but you certainly want to keep the, these numbers in consideration, okay? Now, there's a couple different dollar amounts. As you heard me say, $3,000. I'll talk about the details of that. And then who would also qualify for the $4,500 asset limitation as well, okay? I'll tell you all those details here in just a second. All right, so let's first start out with the $3,000. This is for those households who have basically, you can have up to $3,000 in assets or like cash or cash equivalents in your possession to still be qualified to receive SNAP benefits, okay? So this means like cash in a bank account, like cash in your possession, uh, could be a savings account, a checking account, things like this basically cash equivalents. Now, some things do not count toward this, but you kind of know those those thresholds there, right? Um, but anyway, basically what it comes down to is basically the equivalent of cash in $3,000 or less. You cannot have more than that. Otherwise, you'd basically be disenrolled or basically have your benefits garnished as a SNAP beneficiary. Now, I totally recognize a lot of you are probably thinking $3,000? <laughs> I'd be rich if I had three grand right now, right? A lot of us probably feel that way. But just remember, these are the thresholds. So for some reason, during fiscal year 2025, if you have a situation where you have more cash than that, or you have a position that comes in where like, whoa, a whole bunch of money just came into you for some weird reason, which would be super cool, right? Just remember, those are the asset limits. And if you exceed those, then your benefits may be garnished or completely ended if you were to exceed that. So just keep that in mind, okay? Now, however, there is another threshold, $4,500, which is also the case as well for some households. Now, the household uh, would include somebody who is aged 60 or over, or that person or somebody has a disability, okay? So if that is the case, if there's somebody with a, with a disability or there's a person in the household that is age 60 or older, then that household could have up to $4,500 in cash or cash equivalents to still be eligible to receive SNAP benefits uh, going forward, okay? So this is what I wanna bring to your attention. Now, these are the new 2025 asset thresholds that go into effect again, October 1st, okay? Now, right now, as we speak, it is not October 1st yet as I film this video, but the current year right now, these numbers are actually $2,750, which is going up by uh, $250 from $2,750 up to $3,000, okay? So it's an increase of $250 for the new fiscal year that starts October 1st. And then for the other uh, for the other group that, um, you know, somebody with a disability or somebody that is age 60 or older, that is currently $4,250 right now, but it's going up to $4,500. So it's an increase of $250 there as well, okay? 
So just take this into consideration. I know that this is a lot of money for a lot of people, but like I said, if something were to happen where you came into some money, whatever happened, I mean, that'd be awesome. Don't get me wrong. That'd be really, really nice for a lot of people. That'd be very, very beneficial. But if something were to come up like this where you know a bunch of money came into you all of a sudden, just take these into consideration. I'm certainly not saying you should go out and spend all the money right away. I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying that, okay? I'm just simply saying, just remember all these thresholds. I know that most people probably will not exceed this, and that's okay. Uh, I mean, you know, it just is what it is. It's not like, oh, it's okay to sit here and be broke. No, I'm not saying that either. But you get my point here, okay? I'm just saying, just take this into consideration. It's probably nothing that is going to be uh, a major influence for a lot of people, but it is something that I certainly want you to know about because at the end of the day, if you were to just lose your benefits one time, you know, because your 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 cash uh, standpoint or your your cash um, amounts in your uh, your accounts, your bank accounts happen to be over those thresholds and you lost your benefit, it'd be a sad day. It'd be a really sad situation. And you would be wondering what happened to my SNAP benefits? Where'd they go? Why didn't I get them this month, right? Why are they garnished? Things like that. So these are the thresholds. Make sense? All right, so anyway, um, as I said, this goes into effect October 1st and will go into effect and stay in effect through September 30th of 2025, the fiscal year for the federal government. That is how SNAP benefits run by, is the fiscal year for the federal government, not the calendar year like other benefits like Social Security, SSDI, survivors, spousal, retirement, VA, things like that. Those run by the calendar year and SNAP runs by the fiscal year. Make sense? All right, so anyway, um, I know I've had some videos out lately talking about SNAP benefits because we just got some announcements that came out breaking down all these new details. And believe it or not, I have more information that I want to share with you in a separate video as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but otherwise, I do have some um, some videos here on the channel just over the last couple of days here, last couple, you know, week or two, whatever, um, talking about all these different changes that were announced. So if you have any questions on those, scroll back, check out those videos. Otherwise, have a nice day. I hope this helps you. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Share the video if you haven't done so yet. There's a share button down below. Uh, check out the other videos here on the channel, the thousands in the video library, the ones I've hand selected for you down below in the description or the top of the comment section. And right now popping up your screen as well. You'll see some videos there. Thank you. Take your selection now and I'll see you again in just a minute. In the